Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you about my favorite and probably most used face brushes. I think I have like eight or nine here. And I have like four or five different kinds. And I'm gonna go in the order that I use them on my face. And so we'll start with foundation. Um, I love this <clears throat> Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques. Um, it looks like this. This is great for putting on like every kind of foundation. I use this with Revlon Colorstay, Revlon Colorstay Whipped, um, the Tarte Maracuja Oil Foundation, um, like Matte Velvet Plus, the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. So like any kind of texture, like kind of runny to like thicker, like the Whipped or like uh, yeah, like super creamy. I love this. Um, it's really, really tiny, but it's really good like for buffing it on. It's so good, I love it. And then the next one is this Tarte um, brush. This came with the Amazonian Clay Foundation. This brush is massive and it's so fast, it's so easy. This brush is, it's pretty dense, and but it's really soft. And um, so far, I think maybe I've used this one or two different foundations, but I do prefer it with the Amazonian Clay because I think the texture um, of that foundation just goes super well with this brush. So I really, really like it for that. And I just like buff it right in. It takes like two seconds to put your foundation on. It's awesome. And the next is concealer. I use the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease, Crease, Crease Brush. Um, it's like the fat, like tapered -y kind of brush and I use this to put concealer on my under eye or like on my face like I can kind of stipple it on and blend it out and it looks amazing I love it and then the next brush I use is the eco tools brush and it looks like this it's a um, kind of like flat and tapered and I like it because you can kind of pack on the powder like I use this to set all my concealer so, and you can get kind of really high up in there. And I set like everywhere that I put concealer, uh, I set it with powder with this brush and then I use like a powder brush for like my whole face after. So for powder for my whole face, I use the Real Techniques powder brush. This sucker is huge. I love this brush. Um, I just kind of pack it on and then blend it out and I love it. I think my favorite thing about this brush is the fact that it's just so soft and I like to put it on my face. I love this brush. And then I guess the next thing would be bronzer. And I use the e.l.f. powder brush for bronzer. It's like the flat, flat one. I think a lot of people use this for foundation, but it is amazing for bronzer. And I used to like barely put any bronzer on because I was kind of afraid I was gonna look like a freak because I mean, I'm pretty pale. And this is awesome, I just like dab it in my bronzer and you can kind of see how much you have on and then I pat it on and then the, like you blend it out and it blends out perfectly oh it looks like your skin is just tinted there it's amazing I love this brush and then for blush I use this eco tools brush it's just it looks like a small powder brush and it's kind of tapered too and what I do is I just take one side in my blush and then I pack it on and then I blend it out <clears throat> and I love it. I don't think this brush is anything like super special. I like the brand and I like all their brushes but I think blush brushes are you know just average so far that I've used. That didn't make any sense. <clears throat> I do like that for blush. I think it does a super good job of getting it where it needs to go and blending it and making it look really nice. And then I think the very last brush I have yet is um, for I use for finishing powder. This is the e.l.f. Kabuki brush. I love this brush. It is so soft and I really love like kind of toning everything down. Like if you put a lot of blush and bronzer on, you can get your finishing powder and kind of pack it on and then blend it all in, make it look a little duller, a little more natural. I absolutely love this brush. And all these brushes are synthetic and I've had them for months. And these two are the only ones, the two e.l.f. ones, that have shed. They don't shed when I'm putting my makeup on, but they have shed when I wash them, but only like the first two washes. So, you know, it's not really a big deal at all. <laughs> um, I, it's more annoying when it's on your face for me. So yeah, I mean, I've been very fortunate with these brushes. I really love them um, and they just have held up really nice and they do 
they do their job really nice <laughs> um, and that's it that's all the brushes so if you have any questions about any of these brushes or any of the brands I have um, several more elf uh, eco tools I have another tart brush and I've got um, a lot more of the real techniques um, so yeah if you guys have any questions about the brands or individual brushes or how I use them uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments and I'm also doing um, my favorite most used um, eye brushes um, that'll be coming up sometime soon um, yeah so that's it I hope you guys found this video helpful and I hope you're having a good day and if you have any questions go ahead and leave it in the comments see ya